we're starting here at the seventh fret on the A string. Make sure your guitar is tuned down to E flat standard for this, just like on the recording. So we're going to start by picking a hammer on pull off combination, 7 8 7. So pick once, quick hammer on to a pull off. After you got that, so 7 8 7, six down strokes on the E string. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's palm muting, so palm is resting around the bridge area. Doesn't sound like it's more palm muted. So we got, and we move our finger back one fret. Now we're gonna do hammer on pull off between six and seven on the A string. Then one open E string. Then we move back the finger another fret to the fifth fret, five and six hammer on pull off. And then one e open E string. Back one more fret, fourth and fifth fret hammer on pull off. So that's, um, we got this so far. So after this last one here, we immediately go back to the seventh fret again. So now we have this. And we do another hammer on pull off there. So there's no open E string between this last one. We just, we just go straight back to here. So it's like this in slow, we have. And after the second time we play this, we do two low E strings. And now this is the part where we start at the sixth fret on the E string here. We're gonna do. So sixth fret on the E string. 7th fret on the A string, and then we're going to go 6-5 on D. So we have... Now after that, you go to the 6th fret on the A string, we're going to go 6-7-8. Middle finger hits the seven on the D. I'm usually picking down up for that. Down, up, down, up. So now we have. And now after that, we go to the ninth fret on the E string. We're gonna go nine. 10 on the A string, 9 on the D, and then 8 on the D. So same sort of thing as what we did over here. Same pattern. 9, 10, 9, 8. And that's, um, that's one uh, cycle there. So now we've got slowly. There's also a harmony section you can play along, which goes like this. That starts at the eighth fret on the A string. I'm gonna go eight, nine on the D, eight on the G, seven on the G. Then we're gonna go eight, nine, ten on D. 9 on the G. And now we're going to go to 10 on the A string. 10, 11 on the D, uh, 10, 9 on the G. So it's basically the same pattern as we have before. Except here we're starting at the 10 where if on the other guitar it would be the 11 to be if it was going to be the same but this last one's a little bit more disharmonized so we have 10, 11, 10, 9. So. so in total now we have 